just a quick guide to show you how to get the Marika Scar Seal. You can get this from the start of the game, I'm pretty sure you can. Um, so from the starting area, this is an early site of grace. Just head to the east of the map to the Seafra River Well. And go down the elevator that you see there. And then you get to this area. Follow this path, it's pretty straightforward. Until you get to this site of grace. A lot of people are saying that um, you can't get this until you kill Star Scourge Radan, but I haven't killed him yet and it was there for me, so just check it out, give it a look, it might be there for you. So what you want to do anyway is just follow this path that I'm just about to take. Watching all for um, these archers here, they're very strong and annoying. But you'll see a collapsed pillar there on your right, you want to head up along that. and not get shot multiple times like I do. Head into this little teleporter here when you get the chance. And it'll spawn you to here. So you can hop up in your horse again. And you want to kind of keep this cliff to your right hand side just so you don't lose track of where you're going. We're going to head all along the cliff, stick to the right hand side. We're going to see a waterfall off in the distance there. We're going to head straight to that. And that's where the Marika Scar Seal can be found on a body. A very handy uh, talisman to have if you're a melee build like myself because it adds some extra points into mind, intelligence, fate and arcane just in case you need to use anything like poison mister or something like that. But you will take an extra bit of damage while you have this equipped but it's worth it for the, the extra stat points. So yeah, if this helped you in any way do please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Elden Ring videos coming soon. Uh, follow me over on Twitch, where I play a lot of this stuff live and you can join in on the fun and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, good luck.